Hello, my name is Kayla Hall. I am with Sockeye Consulting. Today I'm going to be going over the Sage Intact to Excel add in for Intact. Um, this is a read, write, and update Intact data from Excel. So we can, we have the ability to, you know, update records, pull data um, from the SQL tables that are available in Sage Intact. Um, the best way to try this out is uh, CData is offering 30 day free trials. So you can download this. Um, it's a very easy, implementation, um, straightforward configuration. Once you add it, um, you'll download it. You'll see the C data tab up here um, where you can see on my in my Excel sheet. Um, to get connection, you'll go ahead and get data in the left corner from Sage Intact. You'll say new Sage Intact connection. The company ID here is going to be your um, company's login, um, just the same company ID that you'd use to log into Intact. Um, the user ID should be the user that you would be using to, to log into your Intact environment, as well as your password. And your, oops, oops lock is on. Retype that in. Um, then your sender ID. So if I bring over the test environment here, you're going to want to make sure that in your company configuration under security, um, you'll scroll down to web service authorizations and you'll make sure that your web service um, developer license sender ID is added here. Um, so if you have a partner, they would provide that to you. If you're working with us, we will provide that to you or we will use Sockeye. Um, for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and use Sockeye. Um, so go ahead and save that. And then make sure that you know, the user that you're using has the appropriate permissions here uh, in order to accomplish what you're trying to update through this tool or pull through this tool. Um, go ahead and I will populate my password here. And I'll go ahead and push OK. Push OK again. And you'll either get an error that the password was incorrect or it'll be successful like that. Um, now you're going to go ahead and select. So this is going to pull all of the tables available to this user. So based off your permissions right now, I have access to all of the tables in Intact um, because I am an admin user in my environment. Um, so you can see I have quite a bit of, of access here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the project for this demo. And we're going to go ahead and update a project status on one of our projects. So I scroll down into project. Go ahead and push OK. As we're loading, we're going to go ahead and uncheck the limit rows here. So um, natively, it's going to limit the rows to 100. Um, but if we have you know, thousands of projects, you'll want to uncheck that. Otherwise, you can limit it to a specific, a specific um, number. You can create filters directly in the columns here. You can uncheck the columns that you don't want to see. Um, so you can sort by specific ones. So if you were looking for a specific subset of projects, you could do a lot of filtering and sorting directly in here so that you don't pull all of the data. Um, but because I only have two projects, I'm just going to go ahead and lim uncheck the limit rows and we're going to pull the projects that I have in here. So you can see both of these projects that I have are um, in progress. So maybe I want to go in here and I want to change this to completed. So I'm going to go ahead and type over that. Any changes that you do um, throughout all of the, the Excel sheet here are going to be highlighted in red. Um, and then again, if you have permission, you can select the row, go back to see data, update rows, um, and it will update back into intact. So if I go, I'm just go ahead and pull over my intact environment, you'll see that there's this test project. Currently, the job status is in progress. So we're going to go ahead and update that to completed. So we're going to update some of the rows. We'll push OK. That loads. We'll go ahead and bring back this demo environment so you can see the update that we've done. Now, if I refresh my screen here, you'll see it change from in progress to completed. Um, so. Another thing that I want to show you is we can open multiple tabs. So depending on what data you want to be or you want to look at, um, we'll go ahead and pull from the table again. This time I'm going to pull from the task table. I scroll down to 
our task here. We'll go ahead and push OK. We'll limit, turn off the limit rows again. And this time I'm going to update the item ID on a task. Right now you can see that if we scroll over to items, right now they are, there's contract one is the item. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just do a handful so we don't have to wait, but we're going to go ahead and copy equipment for these five. We'll go ahead and select them, update, selected rows, push OK. Again, these were the ones that were in as contract one. I believe they're in the same order. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and refresh. You can see these were the ones that we updated for equipment. So pretty neat tool, um, very easy to configure and connect to your environment. Um, you can also mass delete, mass update like I did. Um, so very valuable. Thank you.